welcome back so at this point we just want to fix the wording here uh it's correct the user that did the the tagging is correct but it's in their post here that they did this so let's fix this so let's go to notifications dot single notification dot php so where is that single notification there we go so one thing to remember is that the link is correct so i think this part the link is fine so let's forget about that and then let's go check if notification was seen this is all good that's all good so where are we losing it here so there's this part which says if activity is equal to like follow whatever that is at this point we can duplicate this part okay so that we add one more else if this is a tag that's the activity so we we'll say tagged mm -hmm. so at this point um if owner okay so it uses uh this or that okay so this is where we need to change okay so we put tagged there so let's see how that has improved okay so ethan chongo tagged you tagged your post so this doesn't make sense it's supposed to be tagged you in a post so we will leave this uh, activity part down here and just edit this part that is your because that's what's causing confusion so it should be tagged you in a it could be a post or a comment so let me come back here and ask the question so if owner user id is not id it shows the actual name which is cool but else it shows your because it means these are actually exactly the same so the problem is in our case we have let's put one more thing here so let's check if the notification is equal to tagged so if owner is not equal to id and notification activity is not a tag then we proceed with this then let's put an else if here so let's duplicate this and copy that if statement and put it here so else if so first one is where it says some uh, so and so is post but we want this one so if this one if it's just a tag it doesn't matter the context or who is owned in there because we know a tag is always going to read uh, the same way so let's put that there so tagged you in a and that's enough then we will look for the type of file later so tagged you in a post okay so this is uh, great now i want to go to click here and that's that's the post right there so i want to tag this person in a a comment so this one's tag is like this no it's thorn so we're just going to say i've seen your tag and let's post that okay i've seen your tag so let's see if we have an another notification here on number two number 20 and 21 okay good so there are two notifications here there's a comment and then there's a tag in a comment so let's see that in action by logging in as this user right there so let me log out log in as that user password okay and now i have more notifications so i will click on the notification and say mary period tagged you in a comment mary 
Piri commented on your post. So this is definitely the same uh, place, right? So it will lead to the same thing. Okay, so I've seen your tag. It leads us to the comment. Back to main post, and there we go. Okay, so things are working just fine. The only difference now is, the only issue is now that uh, if we were to edit our post here and tag more people, Mary will still receive a new notification. So we're going to see how to circumvent that just to make sure that we don't repeat ourselves by reading from the post itself. Where is that? Let me just a second here. So the very last post here. So you see some of these have empty arrays and these have that in that. So we have to be able to check for the names. If they already exist, then we don't do the thingy again, right? Actually, that's a very simple thing to do. So to avoid adding a notification, let's go back to functions where the tag uh, function exists. Where are you, Mr. Tag? Somewhere up here. Okay, there we go. So tag right there. So this is where we are adding the notification to tag. Now we have the user here, but that's not what we are saving. We are saving the, the tag. So we just need to do a little checking here because we have the entire post. That's the post right there. So what I will say is this, I will say new tags, just uh, these are the new tags, right? Inside this post. So new tags, we will use the get tags again so that we can retrieve them. Okay, so we are separating the new tags that the user has created uh, after editing and we are putting them in here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we are putting the new tags in here. Good. Now, all we need to do is just ask the question, does this current one, because that's the tagged user, right? At this moment in this loop. So that's the tagged user. So does this tagged user exist in there? So we just want to check their tag name. If it exists, then we will not bother. So I'll say if, of course, we will use in array. So the needle is what we are looking for. So in this case, it's the user we are looking for, tagged user. And then we are going to look for their tag name. And then the haystack is the array that has been returned there. So if in array, so let's put the curly brackets that come here and there. Now, if they're inside the array, they already exist, so we cannot add. So let's put an exclamation mark at the beginning there to do the opposite. So if they are not inside the array, then add them. Okay, so that is uh, good so far. Now, I think there's something I have actually overlooked here, which is a very uh, fundamental thing, is that uh, this checking should happen before we override the existing post, because if we override the existing post already, these are always going to be found true and no one will send will be sent a notification. So imagine if we have a post here where Mary is tagged, right? And then I edit this and add John. But then I first save and then that's when I do the tagging. It means uh, the saved version and the entered version become the same. So we have to avoid that. So to do that, we will have to tag the edit before we actually save the post. So at this point, it's not a big deal because it's different from 
tagging someone before you save the post itself, as in here. So let's see what's actually happening to inside edit.php. So let's go to edit.php. So let me see what's happening here. How exactly are we editing? Uh, this is what happens. So edit post. So inside the post.php. So let me copy this. Copy and go to post. I want to find that one. So this is the part that we use to edit the post. So all we need to do now is go back to our this one. Let me copy that where we are tagging people and then go to edit post right where uh, here before we save to the database. We are going to have to tag the new people. So the post ID is already there. So because we are using it here, so it's already set. So that's the one right there. And that's all we need. So there's the post ID. And we'll, we are going to read from the old one inside this function and then compare it to the new. Oh, this is where the problem is now. We don't have access to the new. Uh, yeah, we don't have access to the new data here. Hmm. And in here, we don't have access to the old data. So, okay, what we could do here is add um, one more parameter here. So that one will be post. Let me put it here. Okay, the post itself and the post ID. Okay, good. This will solve the problem because if I go back to functions here inside tags, I will put this parameter called old post and then I'm going to make it equal to empty string so that it's optional. So if this is not empty, so let's come down here. Okay, tag and then new tags. Wait a minute. Okay, so my bad here. So let's do this. Let me duplicate this line and put it down here like so. Because the thing is, this checking should only happen if we are editing uh, something. And then we will only provide some text here when we are actually editing. So let us check if that text exists. So we're going to say if old post is not empty. So if old post is not empty, then we will do the following here. Let me do that and then push that in. And then let's do an else statement here. And then that's when we tag there. Oops, let me go up here. Let me go up here. All right, so if the old post is not empty, which means an old post actually exists. So what we would do is get the new tags, which uh, will be in the post. Okay, so those are the new tags. And then, wait a minute, my post, I'm getting confused here. My post is equal to what we are reading from the database. Okay, that's good.